wonderful. We're actually done with HTML. So now let's navigate to main CSS. And of course, let's set up the styles. And like always, we'll start with the small screen, of course. And then we'll worry about the big screen layout. I have my comment here. So let me copy and paste. And here I'll just write recipes. And then in order to help us, I'll add some borders again, just so we have understanding of what's happening. So in here, let's go with recipes container. So that's going to be that main container. And here we'll go with display grid. And if you remember, by default, it's going to be a one column layout. So that's exactly what I want on a small screen. But eventually, keep in mind that this is going to be a two column layout, correct? So we might as well set up the gap right now for both four rows, as well as the columns. Again, I'm talking about the parent container, where I have the recipes and the cards. And therefore, I'll go with gap here. And I'll say two REMs. And we'll set it up as one REM. Again, at the moment, we'll only use one, because we have one column layout. But then eventually, once we have two columns, essentially, once we set up the media query, of course, then we'll use both of the values. Hopefully that is clear. And like I said, in order to help us, let's just go with two pixels, solid and red, just so you can see what's happening. So that's going to be my main container. Then we want to go with tags container. Again, that is for the tags, so tags container. And essentially, we want to set up right away border just so we can see what is happening. So what we're styling. And in this case, I'm going to go with blue. And once I save, I should see over here that that is my tags container. And as far as the styles, I actually want to place it all the way in the bottom. So I want to change the order. Notice over here in the index HTML, what do I have first? Of course, I have the tags, correct? I have my tag container. And only then I have the recipes list. And as I said, let me just change this one as well. So it's not going to be a recipes container, we'll go with recipes list. So end of recipes list, just so we have a little bit more clarity. And then what I'm trying to do on a small screen is to actually change the order. So notice here, I have the hero first, and then I have the cards. And all the way in the bottom, I have the recipes. I mean, it's not a big deal, you can technically keep it at the top. But it's actually my preference to change the order. And if you remember, by default, all of them have order of zero. So if you will add order of one, you'll notice that the recipes are going to be all the way in the bottom. So essentially, we have the recipes list still with order of zero. And we just change the order over here. Now, of course, once we get to the big screen, we'll change it back again. But that's a different scenario. So then we want to go with display flex and flex direction column. Now again, keep in mind that I'm talking about the parent container for the heading four, as well as the links. So for both of them. Now when it comes to links, there's going to be another nested layout, but we'll worry about that one a little bit later. So let's just say here display flex, then we want to go with flex direction. And we're going to be looking for the column. And eventually we want to set up the padding in the bottom as well. And we'll set it equal to three REMs. So it should look something like this. Then we want to go with a recipes list. And then we'll swing back to the tags. So let's go over here with a recipes list. And again, by default, this is going to be a one column layout. And we'll do that just by setting up display grid. And then we'll right away set up the gap of two REMs and one REM. And again, this is going to be the same as with the main container, where since we have one column layout, of course, we're not at the moment using both values. But how the recipe list eventually is going to look like? Well, it's going to be a three column layout, correct? So therefore, I right away add that gap property with both of the values. And also, I want to do the same thing, where I'll add the padding bottom equal to three REMs. Then we want to swing back to the tags. So I set up pretty much the major styles for the recipes list. Now I want to worry about the tags. And first, let me scroll down just so I can see what's happening. And we're going to go with tags container, then we're looking for heading four, of course, and we'll add a little bit of margin in the bottom. So we'll say here 0 0.5 REMs. And then as far as the font weight, let's just change it around and let's set it equal to 500. 
After that, I want to go with entire list. Of course, I'm talking about the actual tags list, and I'll make the screen size bigger just because I have zoomed in. Otherwise, it's going to look funky. And we're going to go to tags list. And in here, we want to go with display grid and we'll right away set it up as a three column layout. So let's say grid template columns. And we're looking for one fraction, one fraction, and one fraction. Again, keep in mind that, of course, this is going to be a small screen layout. Once we get to the big screen, of course, we'll set it back to one column layout. Then we want to style the actual link. So let's say over here, tags list. And of course, I'm looking for the link element. As far as the text transformation, we'll capitalize it. Then we want to set them up as display block. And after that, we want to set up the color. And I'm going to go with my gray 500 here. And also I'll add transition because there's going to be a hover effect. So transition. And then as far as hovering, let me just speed this up by copying. And then I'll say hover. And as we're hovering, I'm just going to change it to primary. So again, copy and paste the color. And instead of gray, let's go with primary. Once we save, we should see that as we're hovering, notice, of course, we're changing the color of the link. Then we want to go and style the recipe. Now, what is the recipe? Well, that is going to be our card. So we're pretty much done with a tags, of course, apart from the big screen. And therefore, I'll still leave those borders. I'll remove them at the very, very end. And you know what? Actually, let me look for the recipes list and let me add the border here as well, because I think it's going to be very helpful later. So let's say here green. Let's save that one. And yep, of course, we can see where we have our columns. And like I said, we're going to target the recipe. So that's going to be the entire card recipe here. And remember, it was a link. So we'll start with display block. And then once we set this up now, of course, I want to target the image. So each card has the image. So let's target it. Let's say a recipe. And I believe the class for the image was a recipe IMG. And I'll set up the height and I'll go with 15 REMs like so. Then I'll add right away a border radius. And we'll look for our CSS variable for that, of course, so border radius. And as far as the margin, well, let's just set up margin bottom one REMs. We save that one. And then we want to go with a recipe and heading five. So of course, it's going to be the title. And also I want to style the paragraph. And then we're pretty much done with a small screen. So let's go over here. Let's say a recipe and heading five, like I said, and we're looking for margin bottom zero. Then I want to make the line height smaller. So I'll go with one. If you remember in global styles, of course, by default, it was bigger. And then as far as the color, let's go with color. And we're going to go with gray 700. So it's not going to be as dark as the rest of our text. It's going to be a little bit lighter. And then also we have one for the paragraph. So let's say here recipe paragraph. And basically what we're looking for is margin bottom to be zero because there is some margin as a default. And then the same thing, line height will be equal to one. And that's usually the case when I'm dealing with some kind of cards because you don't want those massive line heights. Then let's also add right away margin top to be 0.5 REMs, just so we get a little bit of space. As far as the color, I'm going to go with gray, but I'm looking for 500. So I'll just copy this one just so we can save a little bit of time. And then I also want to set up the letter spacing. So letter spacing, and we're looking for the CSS variable. And there it is. And with this in place, we're actually done styling the small screen layout. And now, of course, we just need to focus on multiple media queries. 